I want to do a quick shout out. Beach Bum Shipwreck Silver did a contest and we won second place in American Silver Eagle. Thank you. Hello YouTube, Metallic Mindstein here. Today we have a special treat. We're not half dollar roll hunting with lots of clads and uglies and commons and borings. I picked up $50 face of Walking Liberty Half Dollars, and some of these girls are gorgeous. So we're gonna go through, take a look, see what's inside, pick out the nicest ones, and then also see if we have anything rare or less common, or perhaps a 1946 double die reverse. We'll see what we have. All right, first off, I'm gonna move all of these over. I don't wanna get shadow on them if I can help it, so. 41 in really nice condition. That one's got some... I'll have to make sure I stay on camera with this. That one got scratched up a little bit in the right field. I'm not gonna be able to show everything. Nice one right there. Oh wow. Yeah, that's really nice. No mint mark yet. A little bit of a rim ding right there. Oh, look at this shiny one. Has this one been clean? Doesn't look like it. That one. AU. Definitely AU. That one is nice. Got a mint mark. Looks like a D. Now, one thing I haven't picked up yet that I really wanted, but it's just too expensive, is the 2016 Gold Walking Liberty. I'll have to look this one up. This is a 1934. It is a San Francisco mint mark. A little bit of a rim ding up here. Otherwise, it looks in decent shape. You guys see anything on there that would detract from it? I gotta double check. This one may be a little bit less common, so maybe a, a $15 coin in itself. Not sure. 35D. That's cool. That one's a little bit more worn, but still, it's a, not a 1940. There's a 37 in really nice condition. The back. A bit grungy on the front there, but probably a solid find. 35. No mint mark. 40. I see a lovely one up in there. Let's go ahead and grab it. Look at this girl. Uh, there we go, it's a little bit better. 1941. Let's see if this helps. As far as I can tell, that one doesn't look cleaned. Ooh. That is a nice, nice reverse. Wow. That's really nice. Alright, I'm going to zip through these until I see another one that's uh, worth showing. And I'll stack them up and bring you back in a little bit. I've just gone off of quite a few that were average circulated. Got this one was thinking, okay, that one looks nice. Not bad. And I got this one, which is definitely a solid, like, VF 35, but it may even push extra fine. Pretty nice. That's a nice reverse. Oh, yeah, still a lot of detail there at the breast or the chest. Yeah, a uh, few lines there at the leg where the skirt goes over the leg 
So that one's still pretty nice. Okay, kind of an average circulated, a little bit better. Average circulated 42. We've got a couple of oldies. They were right next to each other. Not quite there. There we go. 1918, 1923. Let's see if either one of them has a mint mark. That one does. Oh, they both do. S and D. So the 23S and an 18D. So again, I don't have my book with me right now, but uh, I suspect that those are, even in that condition, still worth nine, ten, twelve dollars. Woohoo! Let's see. Oh yeah, looks like some more old ones right there. Another 1918. No mint mark, pretty worn. A nice looking one. There we go. A little bit funny colored, but a nice looking 39. It's a nice 37. Philadelphia, no mint mark. Pretty nice condition. 42. 41. This one's looking nice. Is that a 42? Again, it's it's definitely in very fine condition. Possibly extra fine. Although I do see some light lines or maybe cleaning marks right there, so it may have been brushed off before. 41, 37, 43, 43, 37 in decent condition. No mint mark. Forty. That one's got a scratch on it. Put that at the back. So, I had bought, like I say, uh, some nice Walking Liberty half dollars from this gentleman before, just buying them as half dollars, not as, you know, super nice or anything. And, um, so when I found out that he did have some this time, I was excited, but I was, I was hesitant to buy more than $50 face, because I didn't know what these would look like. I mean, it's been over a year since I bought some from him. Uh, but apparently he has a pretty good source because I should have bought more. Definitely should have bought some more. That one's pretty decent. What about this one? 41. Looking pretty nice. Oh yeah, really nice reverse. Boy, I'm happy about these. This is good. 36. No mint mark. Had my hopes up a little bit. 37, also in nice condition. No mint mark. What was that one, a 44? Uh, might be a keeper. Still had nice chest detail. Alright, well, if you stuck with me this long, I'm going to go ahead and bring you through through the last of them. Because we're almost done. 41 in good shape. Forty-two in real good shape. Good enough. 39. Is it an S? I think it's an S. So that's good. Yeah, I may have to... 36. I may have to make another trip over there. There it is. Let me see for sure. Yep, that's a 36S. So again, I don't know how much 
that one is worth, but I think it's worth a little bit extra. 43. Forty-four. Nice one. Forty-three's got some scratches. Thirty-seven. Is it on the it's gotten beat up. Unfortunately. Thirty-five. Mint mark? Nope, no mint mark. It's worn. Not too bad, though. Almost there, guys. I'll probably... Let me see. 17. Anything good in it? Yeah, 17S. That one's worth a little bit extra, even though it's quite worn. 18S. A little bit extra, even though it's quite worn. 41. Oh, this one's really good looking. Is it a little bit of black up there? I don't think it's a... That's a 39. That's actually phenomenal condition for a 39. Well, I mean, I say that. I mean, it, to be finding it in circulation like this, or, or not in circulation, but in a... basically a junk silver bag. That is... quite good. I'm very pleased with that. There's a 36. I want a 41 that's in really good shape. Let's put that one there. Alright, this is it. Are we going to find the uh, $300 coin right here? 41. Nice one. Not too bad at all. 41. A little bit worn. 37, a little bit worn. 39, a little bit worn. Oh, here we go. What is that, 42? Really nice condition. Definitely a keeper. 43. So we've got a 36. It's got a mint mark. 36D. A little bit of dark toning up there or grunge or something, but otherwise, uh, it's a little bit worn, but it's in pretty decent shape. No complaints here. Almost finished. 43. Yeah, decent shape. Kind of regular for a 43. 44 that's worn, and a 40. Doesn't like there's anything special on the 40. All right, that was the bag. Let me show you. That's my stack, if it'll focus in, of like very fine and better. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So about over 25 of them. And then another three, four, five, ten, another 14 or so of some older dates with mint marks or not mint marks but some older dates so um, out of a hundred coins fifty dollars face value I would say I did pretty good so and uh, I think it was just just those four right there that were had minor issues um, kind of calls the rest of them were just average circulated so I am pleased with it and there were definitely some lookers in here so Woohoo! Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you're needing some walkers, I might be able to uh, to help you out. Uh, give me a private message. If you're needing some, a couple of dates or something like that. I'm sure we can work out a deal. Just another look of the uh, the nicer ones that I pulled out of here. Yeah, definitely did all right. Definitely did pretty good with these. I know it's not going to be the next couple days before I get back over there, so I hope when I do get back over there and I'm able to pick up some more, 
I hope he still has some good ones. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all take care. Have a good one.